big picture to me right now is to make sort of some dark art that's re that references other times of history and like art history and sort of show where we're at right now via some timeless images of sort of what it what it means to be human and human nature and exist in a civilization so I'm trying to create shields and artifacts right now of, of, of our civilization that mimic those of like pretty much medieval times. And so shields, scrolls, I'm gonna do a big horse statue and pretty much try and make just some, some dark shit because I mean the image behind me that's that's a depiction of the king of Assyria being slain by two handmaidens of the tribe of Israel and look what's going on in the world right now so and 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 just I don't know the whole aesthetic of of riots and people in the streets you know up against you know military force and armed with only the shit that they have fighting just for human dignity or liberty or whatever they're fighting for wherever they're fighting you know I feel like I want to make art that captures that energy because no matter, like, I've been influenced by graffiti, but that's, if you compare whatever we think is badass about doing graffiti to the fucking struggles of people all over the world that actually face, like, violence in their every day, just to, like, not get fucked with, pretty much, I mean, I just want to deal with serious stuff. If people, if I'm telling people, oh, look at my art, look at my art, I don't want to be talking about superficial so my name is distort I have my own way of seeing the world that's me that's the path that I leave when I walk through that spot with a fucking bag full of 10, 12 cans, you know? But like that's, I walk in there with a bunch of paint in a can and that's what happens when I leave and I'm not, for everybody that does it, you're the only person that's gonna make the shit that you just made with what you had and nobody's shit is gonna look like your shit, you know? So I feel like at this point, I just want, it's not a matter of me wanting everybody to see me all the time. It's like, I want you, when you see me, to know me and, Sometimes I gotta spend a little more time at a spot than other people would. I make people uncomfortable when I paint them, because I paint kind of carefully but slowly at the same time. And so I just go out by myself most of the time. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep doing that forever. And it keeps influencing my art, and my art keeps influencing my graph. But really, I just, it's the same thing as, as with what I'm saying about the hoods, where I want, at the end of the day, I want you to know, even if, especially if it looks like it took a long time, I want you to see that and think, you can stand there and get away with that for that long, because really, how much is in our faces all day long about that we're under control and under surveillance, and we're all aware of that, but there's new revelations all the time that make people feel constrained in their environment and I noticed a lot of things that like police will just leave their lights on and people will police themselves if you see red and blue lights you're gonna slow down you know but it's up to some people to sort of send the other message that like yo we are free and shit is not under you know you might say oh it's a police state but then if you just want to let that happen that's on you I think it's real important to sort of spread visually a language that's like, yo, you can be alive, not follow the rules, get away with it continuously because you know you've seen more than one spot that I did, and it's a beautiful thing. That might be uncomfortable for people, it might be uncomfortable for me when I'm doing it, but the end result, like that's so undeniable when you see it that like, a law was broken in a beautiful way for mad long, and then you don't feel like you live in a police state anymore. Then you feel like you live in real life, 